Right. So, so we've actually looked at so far, you know, the the basic concepts of mixing, what affects the mixing, the material characteristics, the process setup. We've looked at what are the important aspects of equipment design uh, and scale up, and we also, you know, visited the differences between liquid mixing, solid mixing, and the high viscosity mixing applications. And uh, uh, now that we've understood the basics, let us now look at specific equipment which are used for these specific applications. So the first and the easiest of the three is liquid mixing equipment. So based on the liquid viscosity, impellers can be classified as turbines for low viscosity fluids and closed clearance impellers for high viscosity fluids. Okay. So, so viscosity of the liquid. So, you know, water typically has a viscosity of uh, one centipoise. Okay. And uh, you look at honey, you know, that is, that is probably a few hundred or thousand centipoises. And, uh, you know, you take uh, other uh, such uh, liquids which have a high viscosity. Um, so you take ketchup, you take uh, chocolate syrup. Now, you know, the viscosity is vary and depending on the type of viscosity, you have specific types of agitators. And that is one way of classifying the liquid mixing equ equipment. The, however, the most common way is based on the flow patterns. You know, so when you, uh, you can have actual mixing and you can have real mixing. And then you have impellers which generate an actual flow and you have impellers which generate a radial flow. In some cases, uh, there is a need for adding shear to the mix mass and impellers can be classified based on the amount of shear that they produce. So typically, you know, the actual flow impellers, you have what is called as a marine propeller, pitch blade turbines, hydrofoil turbines. Then you have the radial flow impellers, which are Rushton turbine, Smith turbine, open blade turbines, coil and spring impellers. You have the low clearance impellers, typically the helical agitator or the anchor agitator. These are, these are low clearance. And then you have the high shear impellers, which are, you know, like the sawtooth or the high speed disperser or the stator rotor. So different kind of impellers meant for different kind of applications. As I said, uh, it is, it is a fairly uh, detailed subject and, you know, we could probably spend an hour talking on all these impellers, but broadly, it is important to know that actual flow impellers, radial flow impellers, low clearance impellers, and high shear impellers, these are the primary classifications of impellers uh, used in liquids. And how do you select the liquid mixers? Well, uh, application, we need to know what the application is. We need to know what the process function is. We need to understand the material properties. We need to understand the viscosity, and we need to understand the equipment size. So there are several charts, uh, you know, figures, which, which give you at least a headway or a starting point to select uh, the kind of impeller for the different kind of applications.